Hey there, my name is Chris Acton with Acton Creative and this is a handwoven experience, episode 37. In this episode, I'm gonna put aside the weaving details for a moment and I'm gonna go a little higher level. This episode is all about supporting small businesses. When this video comes out, it is November, early November of 2020 and we are getting hot and heavy into the holiday buying season. So it's a perfect time to chat about how you can support the local and small businesses all around you. So I thought I'd give you my two cents as a small business owner. See, I'm a weaver and an artist but also an entrepreneur and a small business owner. And owning a small business is a little bit like playing chicken. At least that's how it feels. Every day, I think, can I learn and adjust fast enough to make the business successful such that it will support me and my team? That is always the challenge every single day. Now, I love what I do and I'll do it until I die, I have no doubt. But running a business requires some different skills and a different mental attitude and it, it is nothing to play with. It is tough for sure. And for me, when someone purchases something from my website or from me at an event, it's more than just a financial transaction. That order is a vote. It is, gives me direction that this was a great item, this was marketed well, this is as beautiful and as valuable as I perceive it to be. When you purchase something from a small business owner, you are influencing them. It's not just that you are giving them money to pay the bills, which I don't want to diminish at all because that is huge. But it's more than that. You are showing them your support. You are showing them what you're interested in and what you're not as interested in, which is great because as a business owner then, that gives me a place to go. It gives me something to lean into for the coming year or the next holiday season. It is a big deal when you buy something from a small business. Not to take away from the big ones, of course. I know they employ a lot of people and that is wonderful. But when you order something from me, I take the item that I spent hours creating, I put it in a padded envelope or a box, I put your name on it, figure up the postage and I drop it in the post office box. That is all me. So it's a very intimate interaction. And that's really important to spread that around to support those people that are, they're hustling. They're doing it all on their own in the hopes that they can create something really magical and new and wonderful for their community and for their family. So here is my challenge to you. This holiday season, as you're looking at your list of gifts, I challenge you to take one item that you would normally just pick up through Amazon or Target or Walmart and buy it from a small business that you know and love could be local, could be somewhere on the internet, doesn't matter where. One item, just, just one. That's the bare minimum. And see what a difference that makes. First of all, I can guarantee that that one item proportionately will have a much bigger impact than anything you're gonna buy at Amazon. But secondly, that person is doing a little happy dance on the other end of your order. They're thinking, I'm gonna be able to pay that Verizon bill. Or 
I'm gonna be able to buy more supplies or I'm going to be able to bring in extra help because I need it. It's hard to be a one person operation. So just when you think, I'll just do one big order from Amazon, I challenge you to think, well, but there is this t-shirt that I could get from Joanne or there is a carved wooden box that I can get from Fred or whatever it is. Pick one item that you can then purchase from a small business. And I promise if we all did just a few of those orders, we could completely change the landscape of what small businesses look like. And that's what I've got for you today. Kind of deep, I know, but I think, I think we're ready. I think we can handle it. So my friend, have a great week. Happy weaving.